Hello guys, it's good like again, and we're back to Let's Code. Last video was a little bit hard to put together. It went all over the place, so this time I made something akin to a plan that you can see over here. It's just like, it, it's very general, I not memorized it, so we'll, we'll just go through all the Things. You can ignore the things here, they're not important right now. Just focus on this. As you may or may not have noticed, we haven't actually done any coding in a series called Let's Code. But we've only begun, and I do believe that coding without any purpose or understanding is like digging trenches in a random field, really. It's just no point. So I'd like to really hammer home what I'm going to do here first, and how, and so on and so forth. But once that's out of the way, I think it will be uh, just me coding random stuff with Java. Yes, it will be Java. Of course it'll be Java. What other language would you even pick for such a thing? Now I can't say how often I'll make a video. I believe the last video was recorded like six days ago actually, so it's not going to be every day or even every other day. It's really just when I feel like it, I have some time and I want to do some coding. It, it'll be more often than not because I do want to get started. It's kind of exciting me in some sense, but at the same time it's really uh, awkward because it's a new series and I'm doing a different thing than usual and I have all kinds of reservations. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if this will uh, turn out at all the way I want to. I'm not even sure I know what I want it to be. But I do know I want to try some new things with this series. Uh, like I said, I won't be recording new videos until I've released the previous ones. So I'd like to make a small amendment to that. There's a few steps in the whole process that kind of got lost. I won't record a new video until I've finished editing the previous one. And I won't edit a video until I've released the previous one. Which technically becomes two videos. It's, it's not a big difference, but just so it's clear there can still be some buffer between these videos, which can take even a couple of days due to all these steps involved. Even if they're not much, it's still there. But another thing I want to work on is uh, making these videos stand alone. So every video, including this one, will have a distinct start and finish. In my LPs, I will often record like three, four hour videos and then cut them up into parts which is not going to be happening here. I'm basically going to just record as much as I feel like, but everything that I record will be released as one single video in one single session. Which I think will make these videos more watchable out of context. I don't think you will have to watch all the videos before that, because most of the time I will try to explain what was before. I kind of didn't do that in this video because it's literally the second video, so there's no point, but I will try to make a mental note of this every time I start a video. Explain what I've done previously, what I'm doing now, move as quickly as possible, then move on. On that note though, the point of this video is actually uh, looking at alternatives of YouTube subscription boxes. As you can see here in the list, I've already written three basic ideas of what I want to see in the potential replacement of the subscription box, and they are. I don't want to log in to anything, or to be more precise, I want this application to not be tied to any specific account. This is mostly to simplify things, so we don't have to get any of the accounts involved, but also because I believe it's quite literally not necessary. Logging in doesn't really have any impact, to my knowledge, at least right now, as to how a subscription box works. The only things you will miss out with this is something like how many seconds of the video you already watched, which is fairly inaccurate most of the time anyway. 
at least to my experience. And you won't see which videos you've already seen, at least not automatically. But I don't believe these to be extremely big issues. Uh, a subscription box is in its nature a kind of thing that keeps refreshing itself and as a result even if you've already seen those videos they won't be relevant let's say in a week from now so it's it, it shouldn't make any real difference as far as i'm concerned the other aspect is that i really want to focus on replacing the subscription box functionality not the whole website. I really have no interest in replacing the player, the comments, the recommendations, and all that stuff. I wouldn't say they're perfect, but they are within acceptable level. At the very least, I don't feel like writing an entire application just to replace them. But I do definitely feel like writing an application to replace the subscription box and some related functionality obviously we will need some kind of a search we'll need some kind of a playlist managing thing so you can actually subscribe to people you'll will need a way to open links into the website maybe we'll add even a way to download the videos who knows like i said in the previous uh video sky's the limit and finally i want it to be an application not a web page application, not a JavaScript application, and most definitely not an ad add-on. So here is my uh, reservations regarding these things. A web page basically relies on having a server. When you uh, go to YouTube, obviously you're connecting to YouTube servers one way or the other. Any web page I would create would pretty much have to be the same thing. and Honestly, I really am not interested in managing a server. It's just a lot of grunt work and dealing with old pain in the ass, poorly documented or poorly described technologies that... Ugh. Ugh. I can't. Somebody's got to pay me to do that and pay good money. And that's really not the point of this. I want to code, not administer a remote server and the database. So fuck all that shit. We'll write an application and you run it from your computer in order to access it. Now, technically, the application itself could be a kind of a server-like application that then runs on your web page, but at that point... What What is the point of doing that? I don't see any great advantage of doing it that way instead of just writing an application right off the bat. As a bonus, I will probably won't have to use any JavaScript. And that's a huge bonus, because it's JavaScript, and I don't want to use it. It's less bad than administrating something, but it's still bloody JavaScript. Ugh. And the add-on issue is mostly to do with the fact that there are many browsers. If I made an N, I probably wouldn't be able to port it to all browsers, which just doesn't seem like a sensible way to go about an application anyway. And I'm also very unfamiliar with the way the add-ons work. I just really want to solve a problem with the tools that I know and understand well enough to where I'm confident I can do it within a reasonable amount of time and without making a fool of myself too much. And the final note on the application is that if it works on desktop, it is potentially relatively easy to port over to something like an Android application, since it's written in Java. It will be. I myself don't really watch YouTube on a phone because it's just kind of a pain in the ass to hold your phone and look at it all the time for like lengthy periods of time. It's much better to just lay down and look at a monitor as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but that doesn't mean I never do it. So there's incentive there for me or maybe someone else. I, I don't know. All of the things that I will write will be publicly accessible and you definitely can take it and modify it the way you want to. Yeah, any code I write, take, do it 
You do with it whatever you want to in this particular series. Even the videos are under Creative Commons Attribution License. So you can even take these videos and do whatever you want with them. All that being said, it's a possibility there are already some alternatives to the YouTube subscription box. So why don't we actually go and explore some of these alternatives? Uh, I have looked into some of them before, but uh, not in depth, and now we'll do this live. YouTube subscription alternatives. This is actually terrible, because these options are nothing like I remember, but we might as well go through... These search options are in terrible condition. I swore there were way more. Let's try sub box. There we go. Something more. Alright, let's see what we got here. So we have a alternative sub box which Looks interesting. Let's see. Features. We need to enable the scripts probably for this to uh, filter and sort however you want. Great. Get rid of your watch later list. Well, what? How does that make any sense? I think what he means is just dump videos you don't want to watch. Import your subscription list. Import list of currently subscribed channels. Smooth is easy, yes. Don't load. You need Java, same thing will be required in my case. Uh, can we go to the source code, actually? Allow? No. He's distributing source code as a RAR. Truly. Truly an expert. That's fine. I downloaded it in a separate folder and extract here. Seems pretty stand standard. Kind of what I would expect. Read me, right? Okay, so you need at least Java 8. We have that. Please refer for additional information. Uh, let's actually go through the getting started. Oh, it's just, it's just this. Support your current subscriptions. What? Oh, I see. Well, like I said, this, this technically is interesting. Uh, we could actually also incorporate this in some manner or way. Apparently this does have my subscriptions, but where do I... Ah, export. So that's nice. We can actually make use of this factoid. What happened to the Team 4 Star channel name? We got, like, shut down. No, it's still there. Okay. Fuck it, let's just start it, see what happens. I clicked on the jar, but that should still be fine. Uh, uses a database, uses this, and there you go. It's 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 an application, all, all right. Yeah, it's pretty good. So if you don't want to wait, there already exists this. It looks pretty good. Uh, can we like, yeah, this makes it watch. This opens it in the. It's more or less. Similar, although I assume a lot better represented than what I did with my uh, original hacky approach. It also has a lot more features. And, wow, these are actually really cool. Random, just randomized. I, I, you still have to press enter. Refresh, yeah, okay. Well, it makes sense, you know. I was going to say, we just hit exactly the same order as before, randomly. It can happen sometimes, but no. Well, that's not what happened here. So yeah, this looks like a pretty good alternative. Uh, what One thing that's odd is that suddenly there's only 11 videos. Can we go to the channel? That's cool. I would redirect the videos, though, rather than the main channel. Makes a bit more sense, usually. But yeah, it's it's it's... Similar to what I want to achieve, it lacks a lot of things that I want the application to do, and obviously, how do I 
you subscribe to some other channel, for example. Doesn't look like I can. It's kind of like I'm forced into using the exported subscriptions, which isn't what I want to do. I want to replace that whole thing. Like, you will be able to search for channels and subscribe to playlists and more things like that. So, I mean, I'm not shitting on this. I'm just saying that uh, that's what I'm going for in my application that I'll be writing as a bare bones. This would be something like what I would expect of my version 1 application. Something like this, but maybe with more features. Okay, my two. What I do is lightweight app uh, to alternate to YouTube subscriptions and the watch later playlist. I don't know why the watch later playlist is so important to these people. <laughs> but as it seems, you're supposed to actually use an account. That's a good question. As you can see, this guy actually wants you to create uh, API console, which I will also want to do. This will be a complicated process, but I'll make a video, so it'll be easy. Edit files. Jesus Christ, man. You're a programmer. Can't you just, like, make a prompt when you launch it the first time and then have it say, hey, you have no Google Client ID or your Google Client ID is the default one which will be used by everyone and it may not work. Here's a video how to do it or links and something. <laughs> Whatever. This is what I mean. This is what I mean why I want to do this. We're going to do this properly. It will still be at least somewhat complicated, but not this complicated. If you are using Docker, if... Are you... I'm doing the mind-blown thing right now, because... Add the scron rule. How about run? You've explained how to build and install it, but you didn't explain how to run it? Well, I'm not going to go through all these steps. It's always a good sign when you see source main and you don't see any test folder. That's, that's, that's a good sign. That's a really good sign. There's four issues. Total time and watch later tab. Save watched videos. I mean, it's still open from three years ago. Let's not shit on code while we haven't even started yet, okay? Okay, let's calm down. Okay, YouTube shows more than just the past 30 uploaded video. This guy knows how to truly promote his application, because the last one we, sh we watched only allowed uh, 12. What the hell is going on here? It's constantly refreshing. Is it... <laughs> Calm down, application. Calm down. Dating, yeah, it's being updated. To get started, connect with your YouTube account. Again, this is something I want to completely avoid, if possible. I do remember this, so we're, we're getting there. There's still, there's still a few more alternatives that I just don't see here. Alright, so this was our grand foray into the alternatives, of which for some reason I don't see actually. I'm pretty sure there were more. Let's try Subok. Let's just try YouTube alternatives. But I guess we can look into that as well. New pipe. Right, but like I said, th this is an entire Android application and it's Scripts are turned off, which I don't care uh, too much about. But it, it just, it, it's just—it's on GitHub. We can go take a look at its code. Doesn't even have a source folder. We don't fucking need that shit. <laughs> no, seriously, is it in here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, this isn't it. Is it app? Ah. Uh, Probably, this is probably like an Android structure. Doesn't make sense. That's why it's Android. Java. Barely two different organizations. Oh, there's always fun to read. Someone fixes according to code review. Let's read that. This looks actually alright. So far. Get folder, get deer. 
Yeah, that's very important. Nah, no annotations. How dare you disgrace Java code with annotations. Android annotations, no less. That's a lot of issues. Holy shit. Although these aren't like real issues. This is more like probably requests and a couple of bugs. But that's what happens when you have an application that's replacing an entire frickin' website. It feels too YouTube-y, you know? It's like it hasn't changed enough to be worth even bothering. But I'm sure that if you... Yeah, you can probably download videos, which is nice. Let me see. It doesn't have... Download videos or audio only. Of course. Great. That's great. I like that. It's... It's probably a great app, but it replaces the entire bloody application, which, I mean, to be fair, you probably do want something like this on Android, from my experience. Ultimately, none of the applications really tick all of these boxes, and uh, that's my main goal, I would say, is to tick all of these boxes with the application that I'll write. And who knows, it might, it might even be a really nice application by the end of it. Uh, I can promise you one thing, it will work. Oh, I'm going to make it work. It doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter what, I'll find a way. But it's probably going to look horrendous. You think Google and YouTube look horrendous now? You just wait until I make that application. Your eyes probably won't bleed. What can I say? I'm a sucker for functionality and I don't care how things look. It's just how I am. It's just what I want in an application is that it works. I don't care how it looks. Right, enough rambling. I think this has gone on already for long enough. The alternative certainly didn't even dent my determination to continue with this project. I was going to say, like, maybe I'll have to be like, well, there already is this application, and it already does all these things, so really there's no point in doing this. I'm just doing this for the coding. But no, actually, there's nothing quite like what I need, and that's a nice... It's nice to have that knowledge and understanding that what you're doing is not completely pointless. So, in the follow-up, video I will go through more technical things as you can see at the bottom there and uh, hopefully after that video we can get started maybe we'll need another video to like set up the development environment properly but uh, we should start coding soon until then see you later